Hi, welcome to Mahika Tutorials. I am Mahika Mutwani. Now, so far we have learned how we can inject an object inside a bean. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can inject collections inside a bean. So, for that, we will create a new project and there we will create two beans. One will be the triangle and second will be the point bean. And then we will see how we can inject the list of points in the triangle bean. So, let's start by creating a new project. So for that we will select the new Java project and here we will give injecting collections. And then we will create our two bean classes. So here we will give new class. We will give them inside the package start let's say examples and the first bean that we are going to create is the triangle bean and similarly we will create another bean as well which will be the point bean so we will give the name point to this. Now in this point bean we are going to take two properties which will be the x and y coordinate. So here we will give x and y and we will provide the setters for this. So here we can go and select generate getters and setters. Okay. Now here in triangle class we are going to declare a property which will be the list of points. So here we will give list of type point and let the name of the list be points. Okay and we need to import this. and we will generate the getters and setters for this as well. Okay, And then what we will do, we will give a show method here which will show the details of all the point objects. So here we will write an enhanced for loop to traverse through the list of the points. So here we will give points and points. Sorry, the name of the class is point. So here it should be point. And then here we can give r dot get x and get y. And now we will configure our beans in beans.xml. Okay, concatenation sign is missing here. So now we will perform the configuration of the beans in the beans.xml file. And we need to create this file in source folder. So here we will give new and we need to select the xml file. You can give any name to your configuration file. I am giving beans.xml. Now here we need the doc type. So we will copy it from our existing project. So we will simply copy this and put it here. Now we need to close this bean stack and within this bean stack we will provide the configuration for different beans which will be in our beans.xml file. So here we will first configure the different points and then we will configure the 
triangle bean so here we will give bean tag and for this bean tag we will give the id first so let the id be 0.1 and then we can give the class for this bean so here we will give class and we will copy the qualified name from here and paste it here okay now for this bean we need to configure two properties which is the x and y coordinate so here we will make use of property tag and for this property we need to give the two attributes one will be the name and second will be the value so here we will give name which is x and for second one we have value attribute so here we will give value equals let's say 0 now similarly we will give for y coordinate as well so we will make the changes here we will make it y okay and similarly we will give the configuration for other two beans for the point class again so we will copy this definition and make the changes so here we will have point 2 with the values let's say minus 20 and 0 and here it will be point 3 with the values 20 and 0 so we have configured the all three beans for the point class now we need to configure the bean for our triangle so for that we will again make use of bean tag and we will give the id here let's say id equals triangle and then we need to give the class for this bean so here we will give class equals and we will copy the qualified name and give here so now here to configure the points we need to take the property tag and within the property tag we will give the list tag so here property name is points and then within this property tag we will give the list tag to configure the list so here we will give list and within this list tag we will make use of ref tag to give the reference of the beans with the attribute bean and the first bean to which this list refer is the point 1 so we will give here point 1 and similarly we will give for the other two points as well So we will change the name here, it should be point 2 and point 3. So we have configured our beans.xml where we have given three beans of point type point 1, point 2 and point 3 and then we have configured these beans inside this bean with the id triangle. Now let's write our client code. So for that we will write our new class test. And of course we need the main method here and here we will create the application context instance and we will use the implementation class path xml application context application context and here we need to pass the name of our beans file okay uh, we need to add the spring library to our project so that the corresponding jar files can be included so for that we will 
go to configure build path we have already created a user library spring lib so we will select add library user library and then we will select this library okay now we need to import this and this okay now the next thing that we need to do is we need to invoke the get bean method so here we will give context dot get bean sorry dot get bean and we will pass the id of the bean here which is triangle and then we can store it in a reference variable so here we can give triangle let's say t equals we need to perform a cast over here and now using this bean we can invoke the show method and then finally we can close the context so we can give context dot close and here again we need to perform a cast to abstract application context okay let's run this test file now here we are getting all three points displayed 0 0 minus 20 0 and 20 0 so this is how we can inject collections inside a bean here we have used list you can use map or set as well so i hope now the concept of injecting collection is clear to you thank you for watching this tutorial